Here we go, guys, we'll be using the Matsuo Ned Rig. Just come in pack of five, 16th ounce, pre-rigged. I think they're size four. Let's go. All right, let's check out for some spawning bass. They're probably near the shoreline by now, or some crappies. Maybe get some pickerels. Maybe get some algae, because you know that's that's what we're here for. That, that South Jersey algae. See this thing? Ugh, not really. I'm just letting the wind carry me slowly, and just I'll just work these. Very good. Get close, but not too close. And as I keep in mind of these algae, I just keep <laughs> basically every other cast, or maybe even every cast, just take these nasty algae off. But the net rig's still good, man. Still good. I don't think there's a way to dodge them unless you go like weightless Texas rig, like a, like a zoom or fluke or something. That's actually a very good lure for spring too. Nope, that's not a fish. I'm sorry. It was actually algae. Do I got a fish? Yo, I got a fish. Oh, it's a nice bass. Do not spit it this time. Do not spit it this time. Do not spit it this time. Come on, bass. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. He's behind me. He's pulling drag. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Don't, don't, no, 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 Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Keep your head down. Definitely a spawner. Definitely a spawner. Definitely a spawner. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Woohoo! On the Ned, the Matsuo Ned rig. That is. Oh man, it's feeling chunky. Get some line. So we just poke this guy out. But man, this guy's been doing damage. All right, guys. Whew. What a nice bass. And you go. Ned rigging, baby. Oh, geez, Louise, what is that? Is that another bass, I think? Or a pickerel? Dude, that thing is turning my kayak. You guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what is it? What is it? Oh, it's a mama bass. Yo, bro. This net rig is freaking banging. Matsuo. Oh man. Dude. Another mama. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. Huge. 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 All right, let's get this guy out very quick. I know you're spawning, likely. All right, don't want to take you out of the water too long, but you're beautiful. In you go, mama. Yeah. Huh? That's a fish. Dude, just land it too. That's a small guy, it's okay. I'll take him. Woot, 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 woot. All right. Ow. There we go. All right, thank you, guy. In you go. We are just fishing the edges, ledges for some bass. Nope. Fishing for algae. That's that's my favorite thing to do, guys. Algae. We're here to get the thickest algae. And one day, I'm gonna get a state record algae. That fish. Hello, guy. All right, well, small guy hanging there. Small little guy. In you go. The net rigging, still going strong. 
Oh, shoot. Got it right above the... Tr oh, get it out. Yes, perfect. Got some algae. That's a fish. Ooh, he darted right to the right. Whoa. Mama. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, snaps. Oh, snaps, guys. Oh, snaps. Okay. Oh, man. My rod tip is like, oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, gotcha. Woo! Belly's fat. I wonder if they're nesting already. Oh man, the hook. I can see it. It's down the throat. You see that right there? I mean, it didn't get hooked all the way in. Just gotta take this guy just to pop it out just a little bit. Bingo. All right. Oh, guys, if you guys like taking photos with bass, if you just hold the belly a little bit, he, their fin flares out. All right, you put a little pressure on the belly, it flares out, great photos. Oh, I got a parallel shot right here. Okay. Not too close, but never know. Getting these parallel shots allows me to cover the strike zone, a potential strike zone, a lot more. So make sure you guys cast parallel. Do you guys just saw that? Dude. <laughs> Ooh. I love when this happens, when I'm talking, you know, and then all of a sudden, the fish come by and whack it. This guy's whacking it. Ned rig, baby. Dude, these should be spawning by now. I mean, it's 73 degrees right now. Water is, uh, it was 63 when in the morning. So, <laughs> gotta be like closer to like 68, 70 right now. Fish. Oh yeah. Small guy. Okay, it's not as small as I thought, but it's still a small guy. Oh, snaps. Oh, my rods are catching the trees right there. All right, all right. Uh, he got a broken jaw before. In you go. Summer. Oh, yeah. But uh, this is where those big mamas be spawning, so... Got one right off the edge. Don't know what it is, but it might be a bass because they like to be on the edges. Small guy. Small guy, but landing a lot on one Ned. Whew. Almost dipped out. Oh yeah, got something right there from the pad. Whoa, holy smokes. It's a freaking beast. Whoa. Oh no, it came off. Oh my lord. It was so big, guys. Can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh man. You know, I'm using these small little hooks for a finesse presentation. It's great for catching smaller fish, but these big fish, they spit it all the time. Definitely should be using big. Oh, I just saw some fish jump in front of me. Like, like a small fish. It could be like a pickerel or something swinging by a school of fish. Fish. Oh yeah, not a good one. Well, good for a BFFing. Oh, the Ned. Loving it, guys. Oh, 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 easy, easy. There we go. All right, in you go. I don't know what. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. dude, it could, could have been a huge one. I just can't get the hook set. This BFS, man. I remember I foul hooked a carp here once. It wasn't pretty. It was not pretty. It took forever to get him up. I'm just telling you that this spot right here looks so delicious. It looks so fancy. 
Oh! Oh! Dude, he just came out of nowhere. I think it's a pickerel. Don't cut my net rig. Yeah, it's a pickerel. It's a pick. Pickerel! It was like literally almost up out of the water and you smashed it. Oh man, Lord. Oh, he's smashing, smashing. He's a thrasher. Hey, give me my lure back. Winged it. Oh, 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 oh! Well, sorry guys, I wanted to show you the fish, but uh, he doesn't want to be on camera. Fluke, right here, zoom flukes. They're awesome, awesome lures. And I like to Texas rig them, but when I Texas rig them, I have a loop knot right here. You see that? Because it actually swings a lot better. I got the crazed loop knot right there. But uh, yeah, that allows me to walk the dog a lot easier. And uh, with all these stuff right here, you can see that right there? Those bats are hiding in there right now. Those pickers are hiding in there. And uh, yeah, let's see if we could pull something out today with the zoom fluke. I didn't expect there's a pipe here. I like pipes. Oh yeah. Told you I like pipes. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, it's a bath. Okay. Okay. Woo! All right, all right, all right, easy. Woohoo! Fluking, fluking. All right. These uh, bass are roaming the shallows, either bedding or, you know, ooh, looks like he got hooked on the other side before. All right, well, in you go. All right, let's see if there's any more right around here. These walls are nice. Sun's right here, shallow, I can see vegetation, and a pipe. There was a pipe there. Actually, there might be a second fish there if it's bedding. Always cast a second time. Never know. Never know. First one could be the male, and then the second one could be like the behemoth mama. So we'll just cast out there just in case. But if I don't catch one, it's okay. You guys know what to do. These, ugh, yeah, ugh. But yeah guys, do you spring fishing? Sometimes you just catch one. I mean, if you guys are bed fishing and you see the beds, obviously there might be two hanging around, but for me, it's not actually targeting beds, but I'm just targeting the shadows. There might be beds there. So I'll be fishing like once or twice, catch one fish, fish it again, you know, just to make sure. You never know, man. The, the fish that you caught could be the smaller of the two. And, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Talking, chit-chatting. Oh, it was a pickerel. He destroyed it. The fluke destroyer. I knew you were gonna be here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Give me my hook back. If you can thrash off, that'd be good. I mean, I like pickerels and all, but uh, you know, I'm here catching everything. I just don't thrash me. Whew. So hopefully I don't want to catch all your teeth. All right, thank you for the awesome fight. You're fantastic. Guys, I love using the net rig, not because it's uh, you know, super effective that, uh, as it's supposed to be, because it is super effective, it's that casting it, it's like so amazing because it's so small. I just have like so much accuracy, the stick bait and everything, especially with a bait finesse system. I love it. If you guys are into BFS, you guys gotta give this shot the Matsuo. This 116th ounce for all pre-rigged and everything. It's, it's nice. Or you guys can make your own, you know, whatever you guys want to do. But a big shout out to my buddy, John. John Ramos. Hooked me up with these Matsuo stuff. I love Matsuo because they're uh, sickle hooks. That's how I got into them. I use them for a, lot of a crappy fishing. So, uh, yeah. Trying some of the newer stuff. Maybe there will be uh, cooler stuff that I'll try on my channel. I don't know. You guys let me know.